of drum lessons, a couple friends convinced me to join the music program there, and, and I started getting percussion, I started to notice people playing xylophone and marimba, and kind of got into it early, and then decided to go to college to study classical percussion, and a couple of years while I was at Rowan, I uh, made the switch to playing vibes, playing jazz, and there was some students there that kind of pushed me in that direction, encouraged it, and helped me out and stuff. So, Dean Witt, right, exactly. That was my teacher for uh, four years. I did classical the whole time, but I switched halfway to jazz and still continue to do both, but I don't really do classical much anymore, but I'm very grateful for the exposure to it. I think it helps. There used to be a Tower Records in the Cherry Hill Mall. I don't know if everybody remembers that Tower Records there. But I remember going into the jazz section and I bought a couple Gary Burke albums and then the clerk there kind of encouraged me. He said, oh, you should listen to Bobby Hutcherson and Milt Jackson and he started naming all these other vibes players. And uh, I was already listening to Milt and Gary a little bit, but I think the big revelation for me with that is it was Bobby Hutcherson. Because um, I'd never heard of him up until that point. So when he recommended it, I bought a couple of his albums and then I kind of just got really, really deep into him.